Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brave X Hero, and today we're going to be talking about the top five areas to level up your weapons. Now, recently I made a video on the best area to level up your weapons, and there was some comments and feedback of players saying, hey, this is a better option, or you might want to look into this. After combing through the comment section and weeding out the trolls, I was able to compile a list of the best locations to farm, regardless if you're a free-to-play player or you may not have access to every expansion. This list will benefit you in some way. Lastly, if you're new to Destiny 2 and you're looking for a good group of friends to play with, head over to my community Discord and find like-minded players who are always willing to game. Now our first location is going to be available for everybody, free-to-play players and if you only own a few expansions. That location is going to be the Dares of Eternity playlist. This is a great playlist just to farm low-tier enemies and towards the end of the activity, if you receive Star Horse's favor, this gives you an opportunity to receive an abundance of heavy ammo. The Dares of Eternity playlist is a great location for anyone trying to level up their weapon and trying to be casual about it. Not only that, just by completing Dares of Eternity, you'll have an opportunity to get some really interesting Dares loot. My only complaint about Dares of Eternity is other players will be killing those enemies as well, thus taking a little bit longer to level up that weapon. Our next location is located on the moon, and this is going to be the Altar of Sorrow farm. Upon landing on the moon, head over to where the event starts. Now this is a great spot to farm and one of my favorites. And yes, it is free to all players as well. My biggest gripe about Altar of Sorrow is you'll have some teammates that spawn in and will use all their abilities, thus wiping out all the low tier enemies, making it a little bit harder for you to level up your weapon. But aside from that, this is a great location for anyone trying to level their weapons that doesn't require you to grab a checkpoint or join anybody's fire team. The next location does require you to have the 30th anniversary, and that is going to be the entrance of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon. Upon landing in the activity, head over to one of these rocks and just shoot enemies that come out of the cave. Keep in mind that those wizards are really annoying and you might want to take them down. But aside from that, this is a chill way of leveling up weapons. But there is a drawback. Those engrams that are on the ground, they will eventually explode and kill some of the enemies, thus taking away from some of your kills. The next location is my personal favorite, and that is going to be the Shuro Chi Checkpoint. This one is going to be located on the Dreaming City. Now this location is only available if you have access to the Forsaken DLC. Now there are two ways of getting to this location. Number one is getting a checkpoint, which is fairly easy and you can find that checkpoint in my Discord server, so join up. If you don't feel like getting a checkpoint and you feel like actually getting to the encounter, down below is going to be another video that will teach you how to do it. This is another easy one guys. If you want to drop a raid banner you can, if you're just leveling up a kinetic weapon you don't have to. Then just walk over towards the door, it should open up and you'll have some taken thrall run your way. The reason I rank this in number one in my book is because this is low stress and it's not so difficult. These enemies die extremely fast. After killing all the enemies, all you have to do is die and this should reset the encounter and it's as simple as rinse and repeat. Now our last location is fairly new and that's going to be the Gold Garoth checkpoint. And yes, this location is available to all players. Similar to Shiro Chi, you just have to find someone who has the checkpoint and get it from them. Or when you're running through King's Fall and you reach Golgoroth, you might want to save this checkpoint on one of your characters. If you're looking for this checkpoint, you might want to consider joining the Brave X Hero Discord server. Someone in the server might have this checkpoint and is probably willing to share it with you. Now this one's fairly simple. You drop a raid banner, you shoot the middle orb, and enemies will start spawning in. My biggest complaint about the Golgoroth activity is that it can be a little chaotic, and you might find yourself dying, thus taking away from you leveling up your weapons. And there you have it. Five different locations to level up your weapons. It doesn't matter if you're a free-to-play player or you have access to every DLC. There is a spot for you to easily level up these weapons. If you enjoyed today's video, then do me a favor and click that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on all notifications. Thank you so much for stopping by. You enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.